hi everyone welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to discuss about azure front door cloud service so in this video we will discuss about what is azure front door for demo uh, we will create two app services with two different region and then we'll start our azure front door creation let's get started so what is azure front door so azure front door is the load balancer you can say it's a global load balancer so basically uh, let's say imagine you have one app and that app need to be published globally i mean like a various i mean global user can access that url or that app azure frontier uh, will help you to access that web app think of it like a smart traffic manager for your web application instead all your users connecting to a single server from one location azure front door uh, make sure that they are connected to the nearest and fastest server so no matter i mean where they are i mean let's say you are your server or your app is belongs to some uh, one different location so it will help you to you know uh, access globally with the help of azure front door Uh, we can improve a user experience and it can uh, i mean that app can get access faster more more faster and better reliability so in terms of key features so global load balancer so azure, azure front door route user request to the best performing servers by or regions if one server is down it automatically redirect users to another that is a one so there is no downtime faster content delivery it catch your content like image videos and web page at multiple locations when users visit your site they get content from the nearest server so it will reduce the latency enhance security it comes with the built in security feature like a web a web application firewall to block malicious traffic also it will protect against ddos attack and ensure your app stays safe another smart traffic routing front door use intelligence algorithm to determine the fastest and most reliable path for user request after that high availability even if one region or server face an issue front door keeps your app running by routing traffic to another available region or server so now let's understand with demo let's quickly go to the portal so first we will create two app services to create a app service let's quickly go to the app service click on app service here now we will click web app since we do not have any resource group we'll quickly create one resource group called app rg here we will give the uh, app service name for me i'll give the name called my first web app 01 we'll keep the code as a public setting under the runtime stack we will, we are going to select uh, 3.5 we'll keep the windows a uh, first app service we will create in a canada central or let me create in a central us after this we need to create a app service plan because every app service needed app service plan so here we will create a new app service plan called app service plan 01 click on okay for we are going to use uh, this one i can say share d1 for a uh, demo purpose you can choose as per your um, requirement let me click on next we don't we don't want to create any database right now so but you can create database click on next here uh, under the deployment we have options called continuous deployment if you want to perform if you want to deploy the web app with the uh, continuous deployment you can enable this for me i am not going to enable that we'll keep the disable option click on next under the networking for time being we are going to keep a uh, public access enable now click on next so here uh, under the application insight we don't want right now any application insight for web app so we are going to select no click on next tag i don't want to enter any tag click on review and review and create so if you can see here we get all the details so right now if you can see basic authentication for this app is disabled but after once we create this one we will enable the basic and or uh, basic authentication 
so let me click on create so this web app we have created under the Canada Central yeah here we go so now we have successfully created my first web, I mean, web app zero so let me again go to the app service now we have a one app service under the Canada Center let me go to again click on app we'll use this existing uh, RG here we'll give the my first web app 02 so we'll use the random stack 3.5 Canada Central was the earlier so we will use the Canada East we will use standard D1 click on next deployment we are going to keep same setting for this app service as well next revenue create click on create so if you can see here now we have successfully deployed two app services let me go back quickly app services if we want to validate the app services how we can validate let's quickly go to the app service here we have a default domain just copy this default domain and uh, access the default domain URL so here if you can see we are getting the default page for Microsoft Azure it means we have a successfully deployed the web app for same for app 02 you can copy this uh, default domain URL and you can try to hit this URL as well yep so now we have successfully created two web app I'll show you I mean let's say you uh, you created a web app okay now you want to deploy now let's say you want to uh, publish the code so uh, to publish the your code or your build you need to download the publish profile and with this publish profile you can you know access this web app through the files the live FTP or any FTP client so <coughs> Once you click on download publish profile you can see the basic authentication is disabled so let's quickly enable the basic authentication sorry so let's click on configuration first under under the configuration you will get options once you click on config configurations basic authentication so FTP basic authentication publishing credential you need to on this first now click on save so with the help of this setting you can deploy or you can uh, publish your code so let me go to quickly overview once again let's see okay still we are not able to see so let me quickly uh, restart this web app for restart you just need to click on restart click as once again click on refresh and click on download so if you can see here we can able to see that web app details so under this publish setting you will get the FTP details so like your publish profile so let's say your this is your publish URL this is your username password for your FTP and you can use this credential to access this web app so you can use any uh, FTP client like FileZilla F uh, any FTP client and you can use these details credential details to access the web app then you can upload the you can upload your build to the web app I hope you understand now let's start the uh, next step now let's go to the uh, Azure front door <coughs> now we will create a Azure front door here you need to type Azure front type here you just need to type front door so here you will get option called front door and CDN profile so CDN is a client delivery network profile so once you click here here you need to create a new front door click on create so here we we are getting multiple options like Azure front door is uh, we can create I mean we can use this quick create as well but uh, we will use the this one let me we will click on explore other offering click on click on continue now here you as I said we need to define app RG so we will use the existing app RG click on next so here you need to define your <coughs> you need to create a front end and domains then your back end and then routing rule so first we will create a domain 
just click on add button here you need to define your host name so what I will do I will uh, I will create one host name I will create my Azure FD demo so Azure front door front door FD and demo so my host name will be Azure FD demo we uh, we are going to keep <coughs> all the default setting right now but you can use as per your requirement like session affinity if you want to keep session affinity we can enable the session affinity as well so I don't need anything if you want to for security purpose if you want to enable the web uh, web application firewall you can enable and you can create a policies accordingly so now for this demo we are not going to we are not going to create any additional setting so we will keep uh, all the default setting and then we'll proceed further now click on add so we have successfully created domain now our next step is create a backend click on add button here you need to give backend name so I'll give name called app I'll give name front door backend FD backend here you need to add backend click on add backend here backend host type under this backend host type you will get a multiple options so as we say you since we are going to use app service but sort of app service you can create a app gateway as well if you want to define a traffic manager you can use a traffic manager as well or if you want to directly hit the public IP address that also you can do so I'm going to use app service here you need to select your app service so as we created two app service so we are going to first select app 01 we will we will use default settings click on add we will add once again we will add another backend click on add here we will select app service and now here we will select app service 2 same we are not going to change anything <coughs> so this is the health probe we are you we are going to use a default health probe with the root path here you can use as per your requirement HTTP or HTTPS we I am going to keep all the settings default let me click on add yeah so now so far we have created domain we have created backend now we need to create a routing rules click on add a button here you can define like Azure FD routing rule so my frontier domain will be like this I'm going to as I said that I'm going to keep default settings we will click on add yeah now click on next I don't want to define any tag click on review and create yeah so now if you can see uh, in this video we understand how we create app services and with the help of app services we how we can use those app services in a as a front door as a backend so these are the steps to create a Azure front door first we need to define domain then backend pool and then routing rules so once you click on review and create it will validate your configuration yeah so this is your domain name this is your host name once you click on create it will get created but since we are using free tire I am not sure whether it will get created or not but these are the steps which you need to follow to create as a front door click on create so now it <coughs> initializing deployment now it's submitting deployment so deployment is in progress but now deployment is failed so what is the reason for this deployment failure? if you can see a free trial and student account is forbidden for Azure front door resources even we can see here error details that it is stating that since we have a free trial we cannot create as a front door so but these are the steps you need to follow and that's it for today's video uh, we will create another subscription and uh, under that subscription we will create a as a front door once again if you found this video useful please don't forget to share and subscribe our channel thanks for watching